morning. Welcome to today's webinar on the California Business Portal. The California Business Portal was launched by the Governor's Office of Business and Economic Development, GoBiz, in July of 2015. This tool allows California business owners to find information about business incentives, regulations, permits, and resources that make it easier to open a new business, as well as operate or expand an existing one. This webinar is being hosted by the Office of Small Business Advocate, a unit under GoBiz. My name is Megan Hodap, and I am a Small Business Program Analyst with the Office of Small Business Advocate. Today's webinar features Dana Stapleton, who is a Lead Web Usability Analyst with GoBiz's IT unit. Dana has been with the state since 2008. She started at the Employment Development Department in State Disability Insurance, moved on to the Public Affairs Branch in the Web team, where she managed the EDD website. Dana came to GoBiz in March 2016. Before I turn the webinar over to Dana to get started, I would like to introduce to you some of the features of GoToWebinar, the platform that we're using today. At the far right of your screen, you should see a vertical toolbar. This toolbar will provide you with access to audio and visual for the presentation. If you experience any technical audio issues, please click Help at the top of the toolbar and then select Sound Check. This will allow you to check your audio configuration. Participant lines will remain muted during the entire presentation. If you have a question during the webinar, please submit it during the presentation via the questions or chat box. The questions or chat box are located in the middle of the toolbar. GoBiz staff will respond to questions during the Q&A session at the end of the presentation. At the top left of the toolbar, you'll see two icons. The blue icon with a white box allows you to view the presentation in full screen mode. And the blue icon with a picture of a hand will allow you to raise your hand to ask questions during the webinar. This feature will not be used since questions will be addressed at the end of the webinar via the questions chat box. I will now turn the webinar over to Dana to begin her presentation. Welcome, Dana, and thank you for being here. Thank you, Megan. Thanks for having me and giving me an opportunity to share the California Business Portal with you all today. Um, so we're just going to start out with a couple of slides and then we'll move over and do a demonstration of the actual website. Um, so GoBiz is the uh, office that created the California Business Portal, and um, considering we um, are the leader for the state in terms of economic development and job creating efforts at the state level, it was identified that something like the portal was needed to help businesses get started and get going um, and direct them in starting their business or growing it within California. Um, so the California Business Portal, the web address is businessportal.ca.gov, and it's the state's one-stop resource for business owners starting or growing their business in California. So this is a, an actual image of our homepage right now, and um, we are celebrating a Small Business Month, so if you go to our page, you will see this banner there. There's also information about um, the things we're doing in support of this celebration as well. Our web address is also at the top. And if you go to the, home, the actual home page um, and scroll down, you'll see some of our main features and services that we provide with the business portal. First, we have the business navigator. Um, and that is to help those uh, new business owners who are really just looking for that foundation about where to start, what to do, um, whether it's to um, search the type of permits they may need, how to register their business, maybe find a location. Um, those types of um, customized services are there through a series of questions and answers. Um, and that will give you a, just a very basic foundation about where to go in terms of a business owner. Another service, um, an informational resource that we provide is financial assistance, which is also very common for business owners to need some financial support in getting their business going or maybe to grow their business. Um, so it provides a wealth of information on loan programs and other financial options available. I really encourage all new business owners to check that out. Also, the business service desk, which is a fairly new feature which it, within the portal, which I'll do a small demonstration of shortly, gives you a chance to uh, view a repository of uh, FAQs, as well as submit a question directly to us with an a actual customized response from our representatives here at GoBiz. We also have the Quick Start Guides, which is a, just a quick one-page reference of, um, of uh, 
ways to start different types of businesses. The most recent popular businesses within California that are starting, such as maybe a food truck business or uh, an online business. This is just a quick one-page reference guide to really get you kind of an idea of what you may need. And lastly, we have CalGold, of course, which is our online permit assistance tool. So after answering a series of questions, um, it will give you a list and contact information of where to get your per permits um, from the local, state, and federal levels, and also um, other areas or other requirements, just basic general requirements for that, so which is a great customized tool as well. So now we'll just move over to the actual website. One second. This is GoBiz. I need to go to the business portal. Okay. So here we have the homepage for the business portal. And some of the features I described, if you just scroll down, you'll see all of those features are available, as well as some other in, um, helpful resources, including International Trade and Investment or the California Tax Center as well. So all of those are available right here. So if you want to click on maybe the business service desk, you can come in here, view a repository of questions based on topic, or you could simply click on a question, get the answer right away. You could also enter a question in here. If you're not able to actually um, get the question you needed answered, you can email us directly by filling out your name, your email address, what kind of, you know, the subject of your question is in your message. If you have something that supports your question that you want to attach, you can even attach a document of some kind. Um, and then submit that to us, and it comes directly into our inbox, and uh, we will have a the appropriate GoBiz representative answer your question within one to two business days or at least reach out to you within that time frame. So that's a great way to get your questions answered. So now if we scroll up <clears throat> to the top navigation, we have business assistance, incentives, registration and permits, workforce, and of course contact us. If you go over to business assistance, we have a plethora of options for the new business owner or somebody looking to grow and expand their business within California. So I'll just start out here with, um, if you go to start a business, this is a great place to go uh, because first and foremost, um, you have many options to choose from in terms of what your subject of interest may be. One of the more popular areas new bus business owners and small business owners tend to um, find really helpful is this choosing a bu business structure page. And basically that business structure is the type of business you're going to set up um, the structure of your business essentially. So whether you're going to be maybe a sole proprietor, you want a limited partnership, an LLC, um, depending on what those are. All of these links up here link directly to the Franchise Tax Board. So if you needed more information about these, you could get that. And then also this entire chart just breaks down exactly um, who owns based on that type of business structure, you know, who owns it, um, who makes management decisions, uh, the taxation of it, what the franchise tax um, impact may be, forms you may need, due dates and whatnot. So this is a great way to really compare and contrast like, the type of business you may want to start from the beginning. So it breaks that down. And again, all these links are for the Franchise Tax Board, which is great because it goes directly to them. It's kind of the purpose of the portal is to get you where you need to go. Um, another resource was um, if you come down here uh, to starting a business, um, there's all this information as well. So maybe you want to um, find more information about choosing a location and get more information, registering the business. This is another place that you can access those quick start guides, um, which here are all the quick start guides if you wanted to go through and look at those different types of businesses, mobile food vendors. Again, this is just a one-page um, informational sheet that provides uh, kind of a breakdown of the areas um, for the state and federal level, um, also at the local level, 
we give you some information about CalGold and some other considerations. So that's where the Business Quick Start Guides is. Um, and then also, if you go into Business Assistance and Training, go over there. Um, these are some great small business resources about accessing capital, uh, small business assistance. And another one we get a lot of questions about is selling to government. So if you're interested to be in business with government in some way, shape, or form, this is a great resource page for you. You can um, learn about the small business certification program or um, Federal Technology Center, for example. So these are just a couple of good examples um, that you'll find within the business portal. Also, if you are interested in looking at ways to expand your business, possibly relocate, um, we have some options for you to access here, including choosing a location. You can use our California Business Portal mapping tool. You can also contact GoBiz directly, and we have a, the CalBiz unit here that, that will give you um, personalized assistance in trying to help you find a location. Um, there's also registration requirements. The Navigator tool is a great one to use for that. Um, foreign investment or additional information about hiring employees, too, because I know that can be kind of a scary area, so that's a great one to uh, review as well. So there's the great tools, resources under business assistance. Um, if we're going to move over in navigation here, we go over incentives. This is great because um, we break this down in two ways, by incentives by business operations or incentives by industry type. So you can review these and kind of figure out what is applicable to you and where you may actually be able to apply for or obtain a tax credit for your business. Uh, California Competes is um, one of the more popular ones. While their application period is currently closed to apply for the uh, tax credit, they do expect to open it back up in July. So may want to check out their page over here, um, which is actually on the GoBiz website. But um, hopefully, uh, at the end of this fiscal year in June, we'll be updating these dates. But we expect the application um, periods to follow something similar to what this is right here. So you um, can get a lot of information about California Competes and other tax credits available to you. Um, Moving along in our navigation, we move over to registration and permits, which is the major part of any small business. Um, so we'll provide you with some information and direction in terms of registering your business. We even have a start a business guide down here. Um, how to stay in compliance, obtaining permits and licenses, and information on regulations. So um, staying in compliance, for example, uh, gives you some information about filing renewals, uh, you know, if you had a business name change or um, address or something like that, uh, this is a great resource to find that information. ADA compliance is a, is a hot button right now, so we direct you over to the ADA, um, ADA information and where to get that in terms of federal, um, and also how it's applicable to small business. So this is a really, really helpful page for those that um, need to follow those. And then, of course, Prop 65 is in there as well. Uh, so if you go down to registering a business, um, what's great about this page is we identify, obviously, the state level requirements since we are the state. We give you some great resources, Board of Equalization, Public Health, Food and Ag, um, seller, where to get a seller's permit from the belt, Board of Equalization, we really try to break that information down for you. We also touch on the local um, basic general requirements, but we really encourage you to use CalGold for that information um, because permits at a local level, state or federal level, is really going to be based on the type of business that you have and what exactly you are doing with your business. And so not all of them are the same. It's not a, a you know, one size fits all. Um, and then lastly, of course, the federal level requirements are here too. Reporting to the IRS, importing and exporting goods, and then we have various importing and exporting resources for you. So those are there. Um, and then lastly, we'll move over to the workforce. Um, 
So for those small business owners that are going to have uh, employees um, or need information about, you know, how to hire, um, what does that mean if I hire employees? Maybe that maybe that makes you eligible for a tax credit. Um, also, there's in some cases there may be, um, you know, funding to help you train your employees. Um, there's also additional information specific to training employees, you know, employer registration, where do I have to register as an employer, employment development department, the IRS, for example, um, workers' compensation, and it kind of breaks down the different types of insurance you may need for that, um, including um, DIRs frequently asked questions, the Department of Industrial Relations, they're frequently asked questions, a lot of employers are finding that to be very helpful. Uh, in California, we've had a lot of changes in um, wages and hourly wages and minimum wage. So this is a great resource for some information as well. Um, also on the state disability insurance programs um, is also available too, um, as well as paid sick leave information, Cal OSHA's um, information resources. The Affordable Health Care Act is also under here, um, so you can get great resources under there, and discrimination law. So we have we cover a lot of variety of topic in terms of the business portal itself, and um, really try to give this general guidance to point people in the right direction so that they feel comfortable in moving forward with their businesses. and. Um, and really get the information and help you need. Um, and then I just wanted to touch on this for May is Small Business Month. Um, we have a whole page dedicated to the various events. Hopefully you found it via this webinar today. Um, Megan and our Deputy Director Torres have planned a lot of great events and webinars and we'll be posting some of our um, webinars shortly on our website so you can access previous webinars or future webinars that you may or may not have been able to attend. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and turn this back over to Megan. Okay, so thank now, you, Megan. Thank you, Dana. We can begin the Q&A. Um, I actually don't see any questions that have come through, so if anybody has any questions, uh, now is the time to ask them. Uh, we'll wait a couple minutes. And then also, if you have any questions, too, you're welcome to contact me directly at my email address or phone number. Maybe I'll put that back on the screen. Um, if you ever have any questions for the portal or if you're, you find information that you feel is missing, we would be happy to take that feedback as well. Okay, well, I don't see any questions coming through, so um, at this Great. point, this concludes our webinar. Um, thank you, Dana, as well as all the participants for joining us today. The slides and audio of this presentation will be posted to the GoBiz website. Um, we will notify all registrants by email once, once they are posted. And then please join us for the upcoming webinars that we have each Wednesday during the month of May at 10 a.m. Um, for more information and to register, you can visit calismallbizmonth.com. Um, so thank you for joining us today.